official anniversary is tomorrow and it's kind of unbelievable and like exciting <laughs> for me just because I have never a full year like you know with anyone unfortunately but this is like my first experience of having an anniversary so I don't even know how to feel like I'm, I'm very excited but also because of that, I don't know what I should do that is special. I've really just been like sitting here so puzzled on what I should do. Um, but I know that I wanted to do something um, for Charlie and Seb. Well, obviously for us. But I wanted, I wanted to be the one to do it because I feel like Charlie is always very like thoughtful and very romantic. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of lack um, in that field. So I'm always kind of like, even for Father's Day, I was like, oh my God, like what should I get him for Father's Day? But like when it was Mother's Day, you know, he got me like flowers. He wrote me a note. It was just really cute. Um, and I loved it. Um, and then also for Christmas, Charlie like bought the flight ticket for us to go to London and Paris so all of that when it comes to me I'm just like oh my gosh what should I do and I know like with Charlie he's like very chill on gifts like that's not his love language my love language on my other side is definitely gift and like word of affirmation and for him I think it's more so like honestly just like quality time so i'm thinking about doing something at first i wanted us to go to the first restaurant that we went to for our um first date when i tell you with this pregnancy right now i'm so lazy because i feel like as soon as i eat i just want to go to sleep and i don't want to be hours away from my bed <laughs> so i thought i should i would do something special like at the house but i'm still gonna incorporate like the food that we ate at our first day that's kind of how i want to do it i'm also gonna cook some of his favorite food so one of his favorite food y'all this man i put him on on um pande yam and agusi and let me tell you that is his favorite food he loves it he has learned how to make the pande yam. Obviously, we don't make it from scratch. We make it with the powder. So he be here when we have the soup. He be here making <laughs> pande yam. So I thought, you know, my sister would help me make like a goosey soup. And yeah, I'm going to do the whole nine. Incorporate what we had out on our first day and some stuff. And I got a bunch of little decorating stuff that I'm going to use to decorate, you know, where we're going to be sitting. But yeah, I am so excited. This is gonna be my first time ever like celebrating something like this with someone that I love and cherish. So I'm a bit nervous to obviously execute, but I'm also very just excited that I am here in my life and I cannot wait for many more years. Like this is the person I feel like I am spending my life with. So yeah. So I do have a lot um, to do. Not that much, to be honest. Um, I just need to pick up some groceries that I'm going to use tomorrow. I want to pick them up today so I don't have to go to the store tomorrow. Um, I have to get my nails done. But my nail tech girl is going to come and do my nails at home at like 6 o'clock. But I have to go get my feet done at, this, um, at the salon. And then what else? I wanted to do like a short bob. I had this short blonde wig that has been like sitting in my closet. And I don't know if I want to do that. Or if I should just keep this curly hair. So yeah, so I don't really have much to do. But I just wanted to kind of document our first anniversary, you know. 
So, yeah. By the way, I am eating this rice that my sister made like two days ago. We made so much because we had gas. But they ended up like leaving before the food was done. This is like, I don't know what they would call this, like dirty rice. It has like dry fish in there, some greens. And funny thing, when I got pregnant, y'all, when I tell you, I think I mentioned this to you guys. I could not eat palm oil. Like I love palm oil. I used to cook with it all the time. But when I got pregnant, I just couldn't eat food with palm oil. So I literally recently just started like eating palm oil without feeling sick or throwing up so i'm very happy hence the reason why i'm really also happy for that egusi soup that my sister is gonna make because after getting pregnant when my sister makes the egusi soup she cannot use palm oil but if you know egusi soup just goes well with palm oil like you can't just do it with regular oil so i'm excited about that trying to just start something like i don't know where to start but i do have a lot that i need to get done at first i was saying i didn't have a lot but i realized like i didn't really have a new wig i did have this wig that i had for a while that's just been sitting in the box and i haven't used it because i've been just waiting for a good time to tone it because it is a 613 wig literally there's been in my house for like months so because i i'm too lazy to like clean and wash my other wigs i'm like i just rather just start new but look at this wig it's so cute i love the length like i know i'm going to eat this length up but as you guys can see it's a bit too yellow so I'm thinking about going to the store and getting a toner. And then the other thing I thought about was to get um, to use the purple shampoo that I have at home. But I really don't want it to give it like a purple tint because I feel like it does. And then eventually it fades away. I just want this to be cool tone. I don't want any purple. So I might just go and get a toner and use instead of using like the purple shampoo and conditioner. But the purple shampoo and conditioner would have been so much easy. But yeah, I think this is gonna be the wig for me to use because it's already like pre-plugged. It's honestly just ready. It's just the color that I'm not liking on my skin tone right now. So we're gonna do that. And I also got my nails done last night. My girl came and did my nails. They're super cute. My hands are so dry though. I'm gonna put the inspo here. I'm so glad like she's really getting into being more creative with the nails that she's doing and she's enjoying it because before she just used to do you know a certain style for all her clients and i came in as a new client i'm like yeah you're really great but like i want really fun nails so she started doing it and she's like enjoying it now so she gets so excited when i send her like insoles so yeah that is the nail i was gonna do something like super natural but i'm like i like my nails to be fun and designy and also like my anniversary is just today you know what i mean so i'm not gonna do a basic nail for just today and then i have like a whole month you know so yeah but i think let's run to the store i also think i do have to go to target and get like non-alcohol champagne for us to pop because you know obviously i can't drink alcohol even though we have a bunch of wines, like a whole wine wall in our house, but we don't have non-alcoholic drinks, so. All right, guys, I took a shower, did my loose skincare, and now we're about to start cooking. I am about to make the curly flour, well, at least prep it, because I don't want to make it before, like, Charlie gets here. He was not coming until, like, 6, 7 o'clock. 
and my sister is about to start making the agusi soup. I have just put some potatoes in here. I'm making some of the stuff that we got when we went on our first date. And then some of it is just Charlie's favorite African food. But yeah, so I got one curly flour and I'm going to be making barbecue curly flour. I know it's not like I was trying to like substitute it for meat or anything like that. It's just because we literally had this when we went on our first date and we both love it. I'll put Charlie on. It's not my first time having it. So this is my first time attempting to make it. I've never thought about actually making it until now. Just now starting my makeup and I literally just put my wig outside to dry I cannot believe I am running this late I thought I was doing so good with time but I need to come to realization that I just suck with time management no matter how early I get up it's just that I think I have the time I don't be having the time so right right now it is 5 30 I told Charlie to come at 6, but I had to tell him to like come at 7 now because I'm not ready. I started setting up um, the seating outside, but I'm not done because it is just windy. But I am so glad that the candles that I decided to get are not actual flammable candles. They are battery operated, so that was a good decision because i was like if i get real ones and they fall they're definitely gonna catch on the grass because you guys know we have turf and that was bound to happen so i'm glad i got the battery operated ones so now when i'm done with my makeup i just need to get dressed oh gosh i forgot i still have to put on my wig so i'm really rushing to get this makeup done I just think I'm going to do my basic beat face. I'm not really doing much with my eye makeup because who got the time? And plus, I am going to be wearing a blonde wig today. And normally when I wear blonde wigs, I do not do that much with my eye makeup. Because it just doesn't work out. So we're going to go with the Lancome foundation today. I need to hurry up. I literally need to do my makeup in 30 minutes. Anyway, whatever I'm doing, honestly, guys, is nothing new. So I don't think I'm going to be like talking through it. But if you guys do want to see like an updated 
foundation routine let me know okay i haven't done one of those in like so long i'm just so mad at myself that i did not put my wig first because i just prefer wearing my wig first before putting on foundation because i feel like now it's gonna be so hard for me to lay down my lace makeup and hair done i'm gonna kind of brush it I'm still rushing what time is it right now it is 7 10 charlie said he's gonna be here around 7 30 so good thing he's also running late gonna get dressed now imagine if we had to actually leave the house but this is what the hair looks like i toned it um it does not look maybe it does you guys know I don't know i just feel like this kind of tone looks better on my skin tone than like the yellow one um i still need to put a little bit of concealer in the center here and put my lip gloss on but let's check out the option so i have two options for dresses both of them are kind of given orange basically and they are both from nigerian designers okay this is from nigeria and this is from a nigerian designer based in the uk kai collective and this is from the company her turber i hope i'm saying it right made in nigeria so we got two options let's try them on okay so here is option number one obviously i could wear it like this with my stomach out which some people have problem with but i don't care that's your issue it's my body my choice okay or i could pull it up like so um damn this is actually really cute it's cute but i don't know if i want to wear it today do i want to wear it today okay option one i mean i guess you guys cannot help me pick because obviously this video is gonna be post it after but you can leave your comments which one you like better either option one it's super long by the way or option number two this is what is given from the side i kind of feel like i want to wear this yeah it does have this cut out you know we got the sides showing but like my butt is not showing yeah i just feel like this is so much better because it's hot and i don't want to wear long sleeve to be honest and i've been dying to wear this anyway i just never really had anywhere to wear it to so this is what we're going to be wearing and some rings on my hand and that is pretty much it then i am done Ooh. like this weird suspicion that Rihanna is gonna be there 
but I don't know. Maybe not. But you guys know last time I predicted that Rihanna was going to be at the event. And she was. And I got to meet her. It was very brief. But it was awesome. And why I think Rihanna might be there is because they're not giving us like the address of the actual location. So we are going to go to a location and then they're going to have a shuttle to come pick us up. Or either the location that they are hosting the event, they don't have parking there because parking in LA is just crazy, okay? You barely get parking. So maybe that is why, but I just have this weird suspicion. I don't, they have never done this. This is my first time like, and I've been to like um, Fenty's event a few times. So this is my first time where they're doing things slightly different. They also have two time slot that you can pick from. So the one that I'm going for, obviously, one of the reasons why I'm even going is because this is a bit early for me. So I was like, okay, it sounds like a good time. Cause I literally said after six o'clock, I'm not going to any event. Cause I'd be tired by eight, nine o'clock, I'm knocked out. So I really don't go to any events that are after six o'clock for right now that I'm pregnant. Um, but this event is from five to six, so literally an hour. But then there's another time that it's like six to seven. I picked the five to six, so that's one of the reasons why I'm going. But it might just be, you know, Fenty event. They are probably dropping a new product, which I love Fenty's product anyway. Got the mascara on today. Um, but yeah, Charlie is driving me, obviously. This is one of the reasons why I'm also going to the event because <laughs> when Charlie's not here, I'm like, <sighs> driving to LA is just. I'm back. Not. Yeah, I'm back, it's right. It's tough. Well, I'm like, it's okay, but it's the back. Going back is tough. Yeah, having to do the both driving by myself because my little sister, she's learning how to drive, but she's not there yet, so I can't be like, okay, she could drive, you know, because I was, I was thinking about going with her, but I'm like, girl, that means I have to be responsible for the driving, so I'll go with Charlie, but yeah, this is my makeup, I am obsessed with the blonde hair, it did turn out right, but I feel like on camera, you guys cannot see that, it's kind of like two different shades, so some part of it is a little purple, you can see it here a bit, and some part is like nicely platinum blonde but from that yellow to this i am in love and the lace looks amazing